Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about something really important, which is saving cost in cloud. Nowadays, cloud vendors are providing such a good user interface that you can create the resources very easily. But if you are not careful, then the cost of all these resources can add up pretty quickly. And this is the reason why cost optimization is one of the most important pillar of well-architected framework. Now, if I'll focus on Azure disk storage, there are two types of Azure disk storage which can be created. One is unmanaged disk and the managed disk. And as the name suggests, unmanaged disk means you have to manage the storage account where these VHDs will be created. However, in the case of the managed disk, the backend storage account is managed by Azure. And you have to create the disk based on performance, size and usage. Now I am logged into Azure portal and will show you how to manage the Azure disk in both the cases, whether it's managed or unmanaged. So the managed disk, if we'll just look for disk. So these are the managed disk. Here are four disks which I've already created. These are premium SSDs, the different size, and they are in Australia East region. Now for cost optimization, the first thing that comes into mind is, let's remove all the resources which are not in use. And in the case of the managed disk, it's very easy to figure it out whether any of the disk is in use or not. So if we'll go to the manage view and edit columns, add a column, add owner. Let's move it up a little bit and save. And now you can see that these three disks have the owner, which is VM managed disk 01. So that means these three disks are assigned to this virtual machine. And if I'll quickly open in another tab, let's go to virtual machines. And you can see that this is the virtual machine where those disks are attached. However, there is a null for one of the disks. That means this disk is not attached to any virtual machine and is not in use. And you can now reclaim this disk and for the size of 128 GB, you will save the cost. And it's pretty easy. Just go to the disk and delete. And you can delete it from here very easily. So using the Azure portal, you can easily check if the managed disk is in use or not. However, in the case of unmanaged disk, which are created into the storage account are not so easy to manage. I'll quickly show you. Let's go to storage account. So there are two different storage account. Let's go to this one. And if I'll go into the containers, there will be a container with the name VHDS. And this is the default name of the container when we create the unmanaged disk. So if we'll go here, and there are multiple VHDs which are created here. Now on the right side, you can see the lease status. Two are leased and three are available. So that means these two are in use or being attached to virtual machine. However, these three are not attached and not in use. So, so these unmanaged disks can be reclaimed. But the challenge is if there are hundreds of disks which are distributed among hundreds of storage account, then it will be very difficult for you to go into each and every storage account and reclaim these disks. Because in the Azure portal, there is no simple way you can just filter using the disk, like in the case of the managed storage and filter the disk based on the owners. However, in this case, you have to go into each and every storage account and then do this operation. You can check the disk and then delete it. So then this disk will be deleted. So I'll provide you a better option using which you can list all the unattached, unmanaged disks and then delete it based on your requirement. So I'll be using PowerShell to do this operation. So let me open the VS code. Get AZ context. I have already connected to Azure account, but you can run connect AZ account and then log in into the PowerShell. So now this is the script. Let me quickly go through it. There are three different parameters first. First, you have to provide the resource group name, which is RG Firewall. 
storage account name which i have already provided rg firewall disk and the container name which is by default vhds so first it's looking for that storage account if it's not found it will give an error then it's getting the storage account key so that it can create a context using that account key the context will be created for that specific storage account and then it will go into the containers scan that specific container which is vhds and then it will go in that container and look for all the blobs and in those blobs it will fetch the attributes and find the least state so if the least status is showing as least that means it's already connected if there is anything else apart from it that means it's not in use so in this script i have provided not equal to least then it's providing the name of the storage account the container and the least status so let's run this so now it's getting the context as you can see here and scanning the container vhds so now it has found the three disk so in the script i haven't provided the disk name so let's quickly provide the name of the disk So write output, let's provide it here. Disk name underscore blob dot name. So I'll save it, run it again. So again, it got the key first and then got the context for that blob. And now it's providing the name of the disk as well as its lease status, which is available right now. And these are the three disks which were showing in that storage account too. It will go back. So as you can see, these are the three disks which are available. However, if we have to run it per storage account basis, then what's the use? We can just straight away go to the storage account and delete it from here. So let's utilize the script so that it will crawl through all the storage accounts. And if there is a container with the name VHDS, then it will list all the unattached VHDs here. This is the another script. I'll upload all these scripts and provide the link in the description of the video. So now it's going through all the storage accounts first, then iterate through each and every storage account, get the keys, context, and then look for VHDs. And if the status is not least, then it will be listed here. Let's quickly get the name of the VHD also. Let's copy it from here. Save. And let's run this now. So first it's going to first storage account, got the key from there, then setting up the context. And it's telling that it's first into this storage account and it has listed three unattached VHDs. Then now it's going to another storage account and it has listed one over there too. So let's quickly go back to Azure portal, go to the storage accounts we can see there are two different storage account and if we'll go into the containers there should be a container with the name vhds as you can see here and there is another disk which is in available state so that means it will be listed here and our script ran successfully and now we have four unattached disks which can be reclaimed and they are distributed among two different storage accounts Using this script, you can run within a subscription or even if you'll just iterate it through different subscriptions. So you can run this within different subscriptions too, within a tenant. And by this, you can list all the unattached disks. But now if you want to delete this, one step which you have to do is, if we'll write blob, and if we'll just add remove az storage blob forcefully. So whatever disk it's listing here, 
will be for forcefully removed. So if you'll add this line, first it will list the disk and then delete it. Let me add some text to So every time a disk will be removed, it will list the name and show that it's deleted now. Let's save this and run. And it's going to run one by one on all the storage accounts and find all the VHDs which are not leased and it will delete everything. So as you can see, this one is deleted now, another one and all three are deleted. Now it's going to another storage account and delete those two. And there is only one VHT and that is also deleted. Let's quickly go to the storage account, refresh and it's empty now. Let's go to another one. Containers, VHDs and now only two are left which are in least tape. And that means now we have reclaimed four disks using the PowerShell script. And based on the different size and the performance of the, those disks, there'll be a good cost saving. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.